in um, 1984, in the end, at the end of March, I was doing a sweat lodge in California, and at that time, um, after the sweat lodge was over, I was taken out of my body. I was lying down. I was taken out of my body by three mermen, and I was taken underneath the ocean floor. And at that time, I met this beautiful being underneath the ocean in a large cavern, and he was sitting in this uh, uh, diamond-studded uh, throne, beautiful being, and he gave me instructions and said that we needed to build uh, fire ceremonies on the 7th of April. And it was after, about two weeks after that that I met um, someone who gave me a book, Secret of the Ages, by Manly P. Hall. And in there he talked about how the mermen came from underneath the ocean floor, and they were among the people. And the, and the mermen taught them ways of living. They came from underneath the ocean floor. And they, the, the story says that they used to come up during the day, and at night they would go back, and that they never ate with the people. But the mermen that he was describing, and there were some photographs in the book that I saw, were exactly the beings that I saw that took me underneath the ocean floor. When I asked them, I said, um, where are we going? They said, well, we're here to take you to the one who has asked us to, to, to go and get you and, and bring you with us. And the next thing I knew, I was falling alongside a very, very high cliff, and I fell into the water. And the next thing I knew, I was swimming behind one of the, uh, the mermen, and there were uh, two behind me, and I swam into this cavern. And I remember very well that um, when he uh, instructed me on the fire, he said that what was important about this particular fire was that uh, it, would, it was the reflection of the light. When the f fire would go on, the reflection of the light on the walls, that was important because that was the healing of, of the oceans. And he's, he didn't say specifically whether they were the physical oceans or the cosmic oceans. All I know was that he gave instructions. And the next thing, everything disappeared, and I was struggling uh, to get back into my body. And there was lights all over. I could see lights uh, around me. So I canceled everything that I was doing in California in 1984, uh, uh, 29th of March. And I came back to New Mexico. And on the uh, 7th of April, there were two people who were with me that night. And one was um, Justin Moore and his wife, and we did the first fire ceremony. And ever since then, we've been building them. There's now 28 peace chambers around the world that, are, that do a fire on the 7th of every month. And what I would like to ask all of you is to go ahead and um, uh, see if you get any uh, impressions about the fire and what's going on. Maybe you'll uh, see certain um, forms or images or visions. And I believe that the being I made underneath the ocean was Oceanus. And I believe that he came because he was asking us to build a fire for him like the Greeks used to. You see, Oceanus for the Greeks was their god. And he said to them, build this fire for me because now I have finished creating the cosmos and I'm going to go underneath the ocean floor to dream. And, I, and, and I'm going to go there to dream, and then one day, after I have finished all my dreams, for you will be my dreams, and, and every time that I dream, you, you, you will be in that perception of my dreams in the physical realities. And, and in time, when I will awaken, the dream will end, and you'll come back to me.